Hi, everybody. My name is Jonathan Clover Dance. I'm originally from Colorado. Um, I'm a filmmaker and I've spent the last 10 years traveling the globe and I'm currently in the town of Valencia, Spain. Um, Valencia is on the East Coast. Uh, most people are familiar with Barcelona up north and down south, Malaga. So Valencia is right smack dab in the middle. And um, beautiful place, a lot of history. And here I am in the park, it's called Turia. And uh, it's an old, um, I'll switch the camera around, but it's, a, it's an old river bed that was, there was a flood, I think 50 years ago or more. And then after that flood, they, they turned this into a massive park, everything changed. And they've done amazing things with this massive dried up riverbed. And I'm gonna show you. People are just enjoying the day here and the park goes all the way to the ocean, but look what we got here in the background. Oh, sort of a, out of a futuristic movie. This is a $1.5 billion architectural masterpiece by Santiago Calatrava. And I'm gonna take you through it. But first here we are in the gardens. And since it's a photo walk, I thought I'd walk over this. Gorgeous old architecture. It's filled with packed with cathedrals, like a lot of European cities. But then you've got the old and the new. Here's the new. So if anybody have any questions, just let me know while I stroll through here. The highlight of this city for me is this park. It's absolutely beautiful. Such a great way to get away. From the noise I expect the to city. see William Shatner walking by Captain Kirk here. This looks so cool. <laughs> here you can see people really enjoy this park. A bunch of tourists, or students maybe. Tony, has this been used in a movie set or this is incredible? Wow. I don't know about any movies, but I'm sure there's a lot of... The Jetsons. Yeah, the like Jetson, Jetson City, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in this building they have an IMAX theater. And in some other building, they have an oceanography center. And then in another, they have like a planetarium. But I kind of want to start at the beginning. So we'll go up this path here. And just do the whole, from the beginning to the end of it. I think the final building was finished in 2005. And actually, Valencia is the 2022 tourist capital of Europe. They do every year, they choose a city as the tourist capital. So there's tons of art here, museums, not just this massive architectural structure, but throughout the city. We've got opera, dancing, flamenco exhibitions. It's called the Suite de les Arts y les Sciences. I think that's in French, actually. So the City of Arts and Sciences. And this is the entrance for the theater, the IMAX theater. Isn't that so? Hold that. I'm going to get a screenshot. Yeah. Just, uh, that's just incredible. And we can go, how about, well, you guys choose. We can go on the left side or the right. Your choice. Oh. Well, let's just go in the sunlight, maybe. Whatever you think's best. All right, let's see it's this way. People, it's incredible. You can't go wrong. Should I just 
climb up this maybe? Yeah, that's a good path. <laughs> that looks actually doable. I wonder if that's ever been done. I bet you it's been know. done. Yeah. I guarantee you, if I brought my son there, he would be there, uh, one million percent. Is your son one of those uh, parkour kids? I, he, there's, there, like he climbs walls. Yeah. I got up to 19, I, I'm surprised. Oh yeah, this is a parkour playground. Wow. With a lot. So $1.5 billion this place cost. In the beginning, it was projected to, it goes for about a kilometer, I would say. I don't know, how long there, did it There's four go? different, oh, well, they started in like 1995. So it was 10 years. Do a, do a spin around. Complete all the buildings. Do a spin around to the left. And let's all right. The building. All right. Whoa, mightily cool. Oh, there's some converging lines for you. <laughs> There's a lot going on here for a photographer to enjoy. It's just surreal. The water is not that deep here. On the left side, it's like a, about a foot. And uh, it's just fun because it's, it's this massive open plaza. You kind of feel the energy just you know, in the center of the city with this old history. And then you got this new future aged uh, escape. Palau de les Arts. Palace of the Arts, I believe. Nice. So there's, I mean, this thing is, look at this. Wow. Massive. You know, when I was a kid, I thought this was the, the way the future would look. Mm -hmm. Right. And, uh, and now everything's just ugly, well, dirty boxes. With no design exactly. at all. That'd be really cool if the whole world was built out like this. <laughs> but it literally looks like it's it's out of a, another planet. Mm -hmm. Looks like they got a bunch of office buildings over here on the right. This place employs like 3,000 people. So it's smart when a city oh, oh, cares enough. Hold that just to, to a little bit to the left and uh, hold it there. Hold it, hold it, and hold it. And, and do a circle from there. Go back to the left. <gasps> oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. There's a, when we get up here a little bit further, there's actually, you can rent a boat and have oh, a romantic uh, stand up paddleboard or like a little romantic stroll on this super shallow. Uh, I gotta go to this place. You see in the pool. It's like a crashed spaceship in the pond there or something. The air smells really fresh here. Oh, and you know, there's not even that many people around as you can see. I feel like I got the whole place to myself. Mm. This is just the perfect lighting. I'm glad we did it in the afternoon here. Uh, this is interesting over here. This is the parking garage where you, when you come out of the parking garage, this is how you come out. <laughs> Everything is so cool. Everything has interesting. <laughs> You better, uh, how many pictures are you taking? You can go through a few thousand here. Oh yeah, one night I came here and the sky was super pink, purple, and it really felt like a dream. 
This is called hemispheric. And I wish I could tell you what's in it. I do not know. I've really only explored the exterior of this place. You could walk into the water and do a 360, then you'd have the uh, water all at your feet and the, the, you'd have a water base for the, uh, for the print all the way around in a circle. It would be so wicked. Right, or you can rent one of these boats up here. That's another way to kind of get that. Yeah, feel. <gasps> look at that. This is some of the coolest architecture I've ever seen. Maybe you should just come back again tomorrow or do an early morning show tomorrow. Um, Sunrise. Something about my day. I can't do it tomorrow, but I'm here for another 10 days. So I, there's so much here I, and people would love to see it more than I, you can't see it all in one show. It goes on and on, it really does. I mean, even past this, what looks like a harp, harpsichord, there's this blue building. And beyond that, there's another globular structure. Each one has its own theme and activity inside. Here's like a bunny with a dress on, sort of a, what's the fairy tale theme? Um, can't remember. Alice in Wonderland? Alice in Wonderland, yeah. It is like an Alice in Wonderland setting. And it looks like we got some fruit here. I don't know what this is. Tiny little oranges. Oh my gosh. I smell, it smells delicious. I'll probably snack on that later. So this is where you rent uh, what looks like a stand-up paddle board. It's a mobile stand-up paddle board. So you can, when you move your feet there, it'll actually probably push you along. Usually there's someone out there in one of these boats. Well, that's great. Hold on, I'll get the selfie shot. <laughs> it's a <laughs> photogenic zone. Ah, they got the IMAX movie called Oceans, Our Blue Planet. They have some kind of experimental music going on one night. I'm reading the billboards here. All the different activities, it's endless year round. The light, perfect right now. And a little coffee shop. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You can see why I kind of want a home base out of here, huh, John? Oh, yeah. You'd be crazy to go anywhere else. I mean, you could you could come back to this place every day for a year in different light and weather and get the most incredible design shots, black and white. Black and white, you'd go crazy on this. It's just massive. Look at the reflection of the water up there. Oh, hold on. See that? that that's so sweet. Oh, that's awesome.
Anybody got some questions from the hospital? You can use the chat or uh, whatever you like. Let me get a shot of you there, Johnny. I've got all the stills you sent me too. It's breathtaking. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Looking back here, these plinths here, I don't know what it's for, but who knows, maybe they're setting up a special event where you could, you could have a performance artist or a musician stand on this plinth in the night oh, that would be while cool. people are drinking wine. I'm pretty sure they're setting something up. We got so, tech today came in, that's good. It is so peaceful there. It's there was a group that was a little late coming in and they're asking you to explain where we're to right now. All righty, hi guys. This is Valencia, Spain. And Valencia has a lot of ancient history, you know, going back to Columbus <laughs> and uh, way beyond that. But uh, this is a futuristic uh, structure. It's built in 1995, uh, between 1995 and 2005 by Santiago Palatrava, one of the most famous architects in the world right now, living architects. And it hosts a bunch of different spaces for theatrical performances, um, an aquarium, a massive oceanography uh, center. It's got actually over here, uh, I just realized this, this is like, We've got palm trees and all kinds of unique uh, birds that live inside of this. And then right over that, underneath that is the parking garage. Maybe but they also have a- Take that lower level pathway now. Yeah, I can go that way. I can go around the other side of the building also, which could be okay. nice. Do both. It's probably a little more interesting, <laughs> but as you can see, it's just massive. And guys, this is, uh, this is how you, invest in a city to make people want to come to your city. A lot of tourists come to Valencia just to see this. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be, you got to just move into that town and stay. It's a pretty great hub in Spain because Barcelona can be expensive and a lot of pickpocketers and it's also super touristy. Malaga is more expensive. It's in the middle. It's, it's a lot cheaper than both, the north and the south. And it's just now kind of, I feel like it's just now getting discovered as like a great place to visit for anybody international. A lot of folks come here from the north of Europe to escape the cold and access some of the Spanish sun. I can't believe I've never seen this in sci-fi movies and stuff. I mean, why would you spend millions on a set when all you'd have to do is bring your crew and actors to this place and start shooting anywhere? I think this is <laughs> right. No, you got a good point, John. I, I bet you if we Google it, we could find yeah. that it's been in some films. This is look up, look way up. Oh. I knew it was going to do that. <laughs> Musea, Museo de las Sciences. This is the science museum part of this complex. Maybe that's why they're doing vaccines here. What you need is a little scooter, Johnny. All right. We're quick. And then right next to this massive museum, you have this park that goes in both directions. I would say two to three miles. So on this park, so this park goes all the way to the ocean in this direction. Or try to go slow, I'll have to get you guys dizzy. Okay, the other direction would take you to 
the old town. You know, a bunch of buildings from 16th century, 15th century, and earlier. I like that reflection. Absolute genius. A lot of people can have the vision to put to put together the the dollars. Yeah, so the budget the budget yeah. that he projected was three hundred million. In the end, they spent one point five billion to make it <laughs> like a lot of the greatest architects. Their vision costs a lot. You're right. The, the what makes us so great is it's not cluttered with people. There's just the right number of people strolling around to make that look. Oh, it's perfect. The space between people. It's refreshing coming from Albania, where I don't know. Just the streets are always packed. It's quite hectic. In here, it's a livable city. We're gonna go back to the sun. So here's another event space. There's just so many options. To do a movie screening here would be really nice. And you could do it at any time of the day or in the night because the weather's so great. I am tempted, John, to just walk through that water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't think, think anybody cares. They would like it. Actually, no, in Spain, they probably wouldn't. They really wouldn't. <laughs> so this is, gives a perspective, you know, here's the park. It's all integrated. Here's the path to the ocean. 15 minutes on a bicycle from here and you're at the playa. Beautiful. Keep going, boy. It, uh, there's nothing else like this anywhere in the world, is there? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. guy almost hit me with his bicycle they go fast here because they really some people really commute around the city with their bike you could probably get to the ocean in 10 minutes flat with one of these road bikes that building in front of you is amazing though oh yeah here's more of the just strollers on bicycles Oh, uh, here we go. We've got a placard stating that Valencia will be the 2022 European capital of smart tourism. Smart tourism. That probably has something to do with the vaccine regulations too, because now you can't even enter Spain without, well, just like anywhere, a lot of different, it's changing all the time, the scenario with COVID. You have to be dose double vaccinated to enter or get a negative PCR test. Let me get a shot of that one as well. Not a bad place to sit and think. It actually looks like an eyeball with the eyelid. There's not many places that make me just gasp when, when I see it. And I got to be honest, John, we actually witness it. And once you watch the video again, you'll hear yourself gasp a few times. <laughs> it, it's it's you, exciting. You just don't, you just don't uh, come across. Um, you just don't see design that well. And it's so clean. Mm -hmm. like, very clean 
<laughs> like Disneyland tries to build stuff like this, but then it turns into a great big burger stand, right? And it's ugly. But this is just, it looks like it just opened yesterday. Exactly. And like you said, what a great idea for that, for them to do this, to bring, um, and bring things to the economy. Like it's such a great idea. Right. Forward thinking. Mm -hmm. There's Which not a lot of that going on these days. Here. Which way okay. are you hearing? Which one of the show, the options here? They got the Palau de les Arts, Palace of Art, Museo de les Sciences, Museum of Sciences, Oceanographic. I'm pretty sure they have a bunch of fish, sharks, turtles, you name it in there. And the Umbrecal and the Chemospheric. So there's like five different buildings here, edificios. That's a, just a shot and a half. And it's the middle of, well, the beginning of February. So the temperature is perfect. There's a little path here I might uh, walk, take you on an interesting walk. I did this the other day with a buddy. So there must be some universities and things nearby. I see everybody in the park. Looks like there's oh, tons, the tons of universities here. Yeah. Okay. We'll go up those stairs. Ah, now we're cooking. What is up there? I can see it. where the five billion dollars went. <laughs> yeah. A lot oh, there. of concrete. There's a shot. Hola, <laughs> <laughs> hola. Hola. The Upper deck. Here's the highway. Do a 360 from there. What can we see behind okay. us? Oh, there you are. Oh, my. You're right. You want to uh, go for a walk on that. <laughs> Are you surprised that the cars aren't just floating on air right now? <laughs> yeah, that's the Jetsons, right? It did. Right. As soon as I saw it, that's what I thought of was the Jetsons, where the lines are coming up and that part that's coming out. If you were to look at back with the Jetsons, that's how it looked. That's yeah, so hold funny. it there. Back a bit. Yeah. So look at that. Yeah, when you, see, you, you expect to see rocket ships little scooters from all the sci-fi movies zipping all over the place. People with boot rockets. Yeah. Rocket boots. Yeah, why can't you just up go and hover over there, Johnny? Yeah. What's that? You need hover. one of those those boot, rocket booby kits that you can just hover. Uh, Hoverboard. Oh. Hoverboard, yeah. J. Michael Fox, you need a you need a, a skateboard. Look at that. Here we are in the absolute center of it all on this bridge. And um, nobody and down there. That's unheard of. And and can you walk around straight ahead and then connect with that that Causeway over there? I can. I think I can go below. Let me get a shot of you. Hang on. All right. Gotcha. 
Well, I wish you guys were here with me, but you kind of are in a way. Yeah. If anybody is curious to go or anywhere in particular, let me know. It's possible to get inside. That will give us an amazing perspective. Oh my goodness, look at that. That gives a great vantage point for everything. Right. It looks like it's walkable. I don't know. I've never been inside here. It's like that a garden inside. Have. This is just the top of the uh, parking garage, actually. Oh, I see people in there. Yeah, we're going. Leap in there in a single bound. <laughs> here we go. Oh, here we go. This is too cool. Ooh. <laughs> a new experience. Umbrical. This is the umbrical. Unbelievable. Nice light. Totally see. You're blowing my mind here. Totally. Here we go. Oh. How cool is that? I know. Frank Lloyd specific. Wright, the architect, said that architecture was the mother of all art forms. Because unlike mm -hmm. a painting, you just look at it, you can actually walk through it. You can live with it. You, your life changes based on the architecture that surrounds you. I believe it, it's true. Wow. And this is interesting. Kind of like a heart. Oh, that's cool. Looks brand new. Is it warm in there? The temperature is exactly the same as outside because actually it's open air. There's no uh, glass. Uh, okay. Between that's these just, plants. Okay. It's just uh, structural. Oh, cool. And I, I thought it was wind. like a giant greenhouse. It's, they've got something in here going, La Ribera Baja, uh, La Sarania, Valencia. I think it refers to different type, types of soil. Maybe it's different regions of um, Spain. Then they took a little bit of dirt from each of those regions. Here's an orange, little orange tree. Different. Nobody's taken these oranges. Actually, the oranges in Valencia are not delicious. Uh, they're these orange trees. They're mostly decorative. They're all around the city, and some of the tourists you'll see them. They grab an orange and peel it open and take a bite and just spit it out because it's not like the typical sweet orange. Maybe you can pick a pathway to the left and go down one side. Like one of those palm trees, a couple of them are making their way to the top. And a perfect place for an Instagram photo shoot. This is the upper deck. A lot of view from here. 
Wow. Start from the left here. Was that? Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Oh. And I don't know if you could see in the distance there, but we've got the massive port. Kind of reminds me of San Francisco, way off in the distance. It's probably hard to see. But that's the direction of, of the playa. Not many waves. It's a pretty flat water out there. Oh, here we got some folks kayaking down there. See if I can get a shot of them. That is so you cool. see those kayakers down there? Yeah. Hmm. And these are interesting cones. Do they serve any purpose other than? I wish I could tell you, I don't know. It's a portal to another universe. <laughs> this is neat. I've never seen this over here. It's, um, it's like the universe in a globe model. Oh, but it's all the stars. Oh, that's cool. So when you think about all the different weather conditions, you could come and explore that place in and the different light, this is, sunrise yeah. and sunset. So you can see that it is uh, February, the beginning of February. If you look at the shadow here, the umbra. There we go, February 1st. Actually, I think yesterday was the lunar new year. This is called a plinth. Using the plinth, we can discover when the solstices and equinoxes take place. We only have to observe the shadow of the solar midday that coincides with the corresponding mark. And here's another globe. Here's the moon. This is pretty cool. La Luna. Oh, isn't that amazing? Wow. I don't know if it turns. No, it's just in place here. Without the moon, we wouldn't exist. Here's the sundial. Oh, yeah, there we go. It says that it's 16, four o'clock. I don't know. I think it's more like five o'clock. This is a, some uh, like a, a sun, the sun shadow gnomon. It's the simplest astronomical instrument and the oldest, a simple rod planted in the ground that projects its shadow onto a hor horizontal plane. I wonder what and we can observe where. The, Go ahead. Yeah, just observe where the shadow moves, and based on that, it can tell you what month it is. Excellent. Don't worry. I wonder what this looks like at night, Johnny. Have you seen it at night or any pictures? 
I've never been here at night, no. It, but it must be all lit up. It must be amazing. Well, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you well, so much. Well, this has been spectacular. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I enjoyed Once in a walking through training. it. Well, we'll uh, I'll talk to Johnny tomorrow, and we'll uh, we'll uh, definitely be coming back in some form one more time. Awesome. That was that fun, was guys. Yeah. Great. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. And every. All right. Thanks very much. We'll okay. see you later. You're welcome. You Great show. Take Thank care, you. you guys. Take bye care. Bye. Welcome. Stay safe. Bye bye. 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 Bye.